All right, guys, so we're back. Gonna talk about the odometer of the 2016 Maserati Ghibli S, uh, which did a, a refresh from the 2015 and 2014 Ghiblis. Um, I haven't really seen any videos online about the odometer, not exactly sure why. Um, so I figured I'd make one. Um, if you guys are familiar with Chrysler, you'll know that um, this is a lot like a Chrysler setup, especially the controls on the steering wheel here. Um, you have your back, your toggle up, your toggle down, and then pressing this in for enter. So um, very Chrysler-like because of the Chrysler merger. You know, of course, everybody's going to bash this and that. But have you seen the Gran Turismo's or any of the other uh, previous Maserati's um, user interface system? It's kind of outdated and garbage. So <laughs> this is a lot better, in my opinion, um, you know, seeing those systems um, in person. And um, this is a lot more user friendly. I like easy. I like user friendly where I don't have to do too much. And it looks great and it performs well. That's what we need, that's what Maserati shot for. So this is what we got. So as you can see, um, the difference from the 2015 and 2016, and I'll, I'll say this right this time because I know you guys grilled me in the comments last time. This is the water temperature, not the oil. But they were flipped with the uh, fuel gauge. The fuel gauge on the 2014 and 2015s are on this side while the water temp is on this side. It's the opposite for the 2016, so they changed this. Also, this looks a lot more refreshed. Is the edges are cleaner? It's like um, it's a higher quality. Uh, I don't know if they changed the the pixels, but it looks a lot nicer. Um, uh, also, a couple things are different are your modes. When you put it in your sport mode, you'll see that it goes to normal mode, and that's fine. That's you know typical. But then when you press sport mode, it shows the car now, which is really cool. Um, you can also do your ice mode and it'll show the car as well, but this is a nice little touch. It's the small things, you know <laughs> um, So we'll keep it in sport Also, you gotta put it in manual because you know manual is the way to go um, So for my options here, I have the temperature here the time and date there um, You can always change them by using the toggle switch here and I'll go through the, those menus really quickly um, so I always keep it on the speedo. I like the speed up here. It's nice to have it on this side too But I like to look straight forward. You know if I'm concentrating on anything is my red line here for the revs um, But I'm not looking on this side. So I like it dead center in front of me. So that's a preference of mine So we'll go down because this is the main menu um, If I wanted to change it two kilometers uh, Right there. I just press this in. This is your enter button. So I press it in and now you see it says kilometers. Press the enter button for miles per hour. So we'll go back to miles per hour. Also, if you go down, you have your vehicle info. So there's a specific menus there for each thing. Right now this is tire pressure, but if I press the um, toggle button, whoops, not, sorry, not that button, the enter button, then it'll take me to the next one. Oil pressure oil temp, transmission temp, the battery voltage, and the last one, maintenance, when I'm due for my maintenance. Um, then we can go down to the next one, fuel economy, the trip, so you got the distance, average miles per hour, uh, sorry, I'm switching, average miles per gallon, average miles per hour, elapsed time. The next one, start stop, your start stop mode. I don't like start stop for my ignition, so, I like to keep it where the engine runs all the time. Um, it starts stops a little annoying to me, so um, I normally don't enable it. But choose this is where you can enable and disable start stop. Also, your audio there, your stored messages, messages where I don't message anything on my car like that. I don't use the messaging system. I just use my phone, so not for me. And the screen setup. So this is where you can choose where you have, say, you know, your. Uh, temperature outside and your time and date and everything like that you can choose all of that so say if I want to go to upper right outside temp, time date stuff like that or if I want to go to the first row what's on that you know so I can put everything up here in front of me just how I would like it so it makes it easier for me and your vehicle settings so speed warming speed warning electric park brake stuff like that I think those are looks like the only two things there 
and then back to the main menu. Um, so it's pretty simple. Um, like I said, it's 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 very Chrysler, but it's very user friendly. I like it. What do you guys think? Do you think it needs more? Do you think it needs less? Do you think it's crap? I'm sure you'll tell me in the comments below. Like, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Talk to you soon.